On Autopsy, Dr. Michael Hunter examines the death of country music pioneer, Tammy Wynette. Tammy's death certificate gives the cause as heart failure, but a year after she died, her body was exhumed and an autopsy performed. I can see what follows is a storm of controversy. The show sits down with Tammy's daughters for more. I was angry because I thought, She's too young, she's just 55. She was in so much pain and we knew she took medication at home for pain and we were wondering right away whether or not that played anything into it. Dr. Hunter says they were right to be suspicious. The only drugs mentioned to the police and medical examiner at the time were antibiotics and a blood thinning agent. The medical examiner stated, and I quote, this caused me to suspect there had been an attempt to provide minimal information to the authorities. Autopsy says Tammy was also taking heavy duty painkillers that weren't reported. The question is, did these painkillers play a fatal role in her death? I think she had too much medication in her system and it made her quit breathing. Did Tammy Wynette really die of heart failure or was it something more sinister? You'll have to watch Autopsy to find out. She has Q3 numbers ready for you. Awesome. New assistant, Larry? Yeah, this is Frank. Hey there. Me and the missus were watching reels over the weekend, and I learned that Robin Williams used to hire real homeless people to work as extras in all of his films. So I followed his lead. Huh, how cool is that? There's always more to the story. Oh, Frank. Reels. Real lives, real stories, real celebrities. I never knew that about Robin Williams. I should get reels. Probably already in your TV package. Check the guide. What?